So this is MySpace, and um, not the, like the website or anything, but like actual, <laughs> my actual space. Um. Hi, welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina, and thank you so much for dropping by. Today is a follow-up to our last video where we made over our laundry room. Laundry rooms are one of those rooms that can be very utilitarian, and a lot of times people say that they don't know how to make them pretty, that they are, they're functional rooms. And I've always felt that every room in the house should be a special place. If you think back to historical times, kitchens were utilitarian too. It was somewhere that you made food. And over time we've realized this is an incredible space that we love to hang out in and it's an amazing thing. So I feel like that about laundry rooms. I mean, why shouldn't they feel special? If I have to go in there so many times during a week. I mean, I've got three kids and a husband and a dog and pets. So <laughs> there's a lot going on in the house. There's a lot of laundry that, that gets run in here, especially during baseball season and soccer season. It's just the laundry runs non so I want to give you my tips for making your laundry room not only functional, but beautiful. These are hacks that I've used in my own space recently, but I use these all the time. So with my clients who are getting ready to sell their houses and they want those spaces to feel really special and pretty. I also use this with my clients who are just decorating their spaces or getting their homes ready for their life ahead of them. And I just think, wow, this is such an opportunity. So let me share with you my favorite laundry room hacks for making your laundry room look more beautiful, but still functional. <laughs> my number one hack is to put the laundry detergent in a pretty bottle. Now I've seen for years where people use the powdered stuff and they put them in big jars, big glass jars. I agree, that's very pretty and that's definitely a great option if you use powdered laundry detergent. I don't use powdered laundry detergent. So instead, I put my detergent into a really cute vintage bottle that I found at a flea market and it just looks great. It's quick, easy to pour out of. It's easier than having to have like a big thing either on top of the washing machine that's for me over my head now or you know having a big bottle that I've got to lug out. It's just in a petite little bottle and I just refill the bottle every now and then and it's awesome. I love doing that. My hack number two is to put your dryer sheets in a really cute box. You probably already have a really cute box somewhere in your house that you could just use. It might just be sitting empty somewhere, just randomly hanging out, maybe in the basement or in the attic or just in some random place. And it could be holding your dryer sheets and it would look awesome. If you prefer to use liquid fabric softener, grab another bottle. Either way, make those utilitarian items they still need to function. You still need to have somewhere to store your stuff, but you're literally storing it in plain sight and it's gorgeous. My hack number three is to install two hooks on your wall. Now, if you space them just right, you'll be able to hang your ironing board on them. I personally don't keep the ironing board in the laundry room. Mine is very petite, but even if it wasn't, we typically are ironing near our closet. And so I prefer to keep the iron in the closet. However, you can still use those hooks, and I do, because we hang dry quite a bit, and it's a great spot to put something that needs to dry on it. It also is great during the winter to have another hook for a jacket. It could have a scarf hanging on it, a purse. So it just depends on where your laundry room is. If it's like a dumping zone, which I know a lot of you say your laundry rooms are dumping zones. Sometimes they even have a door to the exterior, and this is the one that your family uses all the time extra hooks on the wall will always be a benefit to your family. On the flip side of that, for our next hack, we have put up a really cool curtain rod. It looks like an old pipe, and I found this one at West Elm, but I recently saw one really similar at Target. So it's not expensive, but it's a great place to hang whatever you need to hang. I got these really cute little S hooks that I put on top of it, and I bought them really cheap at Target. They, I think it was maybe like four or five dollars, if that, for these little cute little hooks. And I'm able to hang my lingerie on them and then it keeps them hanging and I can you know, throw a few things on there and it's out of the way. But I can also hang my basket on there. I can put 
um, my teenage son is really big into t-shirts right now so I'll leave some hangers up there a lot of times and I'll take them out of the dryer his shirts and just hang them on that rack and then when they're dry everything gets dispersed and it looks pretty again for hack number five I think it's great to employ drawers with your laundry set now i know it's not possible for everybody now i've seen where you can get really creative and have a platform built that has drawers but i had the i went ahead and bought the drawers for mine and they're a lifesaver because i can throw any of the extra stuff that i don't want to see but i need inside those drawers and i just put really cute little baskets in it mine are actually empty because we aren't the type that go and stock up on a ton of stuff um, and <laughs> I actually store my paper towels in a different part of the house. I have a really cute dresser in my family room and that's where I put my paper towels. It just makes more sense to me that we have like a utilitarian dresser in the family room. It's just the way we've laid out our house. So I think just really think through your own space, which one of these hacks is gonna be best for you. They may not all work for you actually, but I think what it'll do is get your mind kind of moving and think, oh, well, do I need to store my paper towels? in the laundry room why did i choose to do that maybe there's some more better to store them and if there isn't stick them in those drawers <laughs> number six will probably not surprise you if you saw our recent laundry room makeover we think that the laundry room is a great space to create an art gallery uh, who says who made up this rule that a laundry room has to have cabinets in a certain way and everything has to be built in and it has to be this certain way Right now, we're at, it's, it's the quarantine and we can't have a, a, a builder in the house right now measuring for cabinets. And so I was thinking, I just want this room to feel special. I mean, I'm just, I'm feeling kind of down, all this stuff is going on and I want my laundry room just to feel elevated right now. And so I turned it into a little art space and I seriously doubt that I will be taking that down to put cabinets up. So yeah, cabinets are great, but a lot of times you end up losing stuff in them or it's hard to reach them. I would have to have a ladder to get to the top. This way I walk in and doing laundry feels like a treat to me and it's special. And so yeah, think, your, think about your space creatively. You might have an extra wall. Maybe you wanna put up that curtain rod where you can have hanging space. And then above it, you could also put artwork. So think of your space and think creatively about it. That's what I hope you'll take away more than anything else from these hacks is there's some, use your space to be beautiful. Hack number seven is to not label things. That, um, I feel bad because I know that there's probably some of you that are watching that have labels on things, but I think if you're trying to create a more high-end expensive look, typically we don't label things. Like we wouldn't have the laundry room sign. We wouldn't have, clothes pins on the sign. We wouldn't label the trash can as lint. I mean, I think that we all kind of know where we are. I mean, the washer and dryer is there. I don't feel like we need directionals to get there. And I don't think it's unclear as to what is in a glass jar full of clothes pins or that the trash can, I mean, I don't put my trash can in there only to put lint in. Uh, if I'm taking a tag off of a shirt or if I've got trash and I'm walking by, I might throw it in there. So for me, I'm like, I don't think labeling things is such a, an elevated idea. And that's actually a free one that you can just take it or leave it. But I just think it looks more elevated. It looks more expensive. I mean, I know that's not necessarily a huge value, but if you want something that looks higher end, I would skip the labels. Oh, sorry if I've offended you. That one's, yeah, okay, let's move on. <laughs> my next hack is one of my absolute favorites. I don't know why I haven't been doing this for years. I only recently got a steamer. It's because my mom, who you've probably seen on this channel if you are a regular subscriber, she hates ironing. Her dad was a dry, her dad owned a dry cleaners and so she hates ironing. So she bought a steamer for when we style and stage houses and she would much rather have that. So I had never even owned one before and I, I got one about six months ago and I'm like, well, how, why didn't I do this before? Um, but the other thing that I also didn't do before is put essential oils into the steamer. So I tried that recently and it makes everything smell so good. So I just put a couple little drops of the essential oils. You don't have a lot of water there, so you don't need a ton of it. Just one or two little drops. 
you can also do the same thing with your iron and it makes all of your fabrics i did that with this shirt when i steamed it this morning oh, it smells like roses it's so nice but it's very very subtle so be sure you only do a little drop but it's awesome if you want to do that mm -hmm. makes everything smell so good Hack number nine is to put down a rug in your laundry room. Now, we originally had vinyl floor, which we took out in ours, and so having a tile floor in there, I think does elevate it. Technically, I think that could count as a hack. However, um, I'm trying to keep these to things that you can do like right now without having a contractor in there or having to run to the hardware store. So I think tile floor definitely made our room feel more elevated, but it also made the floor kind of cold. So I put down a rug. I didn't spend a lot of money on this one. It is in a laundry room and there's gonna be lint apparently flying everywhere and there's just, you know, it's a, it's a utilitarian room. So I didn't spend a lot of money. Just grab one off of Amazon. But um, I think putting a rug down is huge. Now I will share this extra hack. I should save it for another video, but I'm just gonna tell you now. Um, my mom was saying recently that a rug that she had put down had those lumps in it and she couldn't get them out and it was driving her crazy. So she tried steaming her rug and it totally worked. So mine, because I had just gotten it for the room makeover, had little bumps in it. So I steamed it out with my little rose water essential oils. Oh my gosh, it smells so good and it totally worked. So that's an extra little freebie for you. Hack number 10 is to use pretty baskets. I think it's just habit. Maybe it's just habit. We just use plastic and we don't think about it. But if you have a plastic basket sitting up there or you have a really pretty wicker basket, one is gonna look prettier. Now there may be a slightly higher price tag attached to the wicker one. Sometimes, some of those plastic ones can be really expensive. I use wicker baskets as my laundry bins. I think that they're amazing. So I have a few in there and they kind of rotate and the kids will take one up here and then I've got backups. Um, I love them. And for years, I used the stackable ones from Ikea, um, but those are now in my pantry. So every now and then I steal it from myself and I have to go look for a new one. But I've got ones from Target. The ones in here are all from Target. They're not expensive, but it's a quick hack that'll make your room feel so elevated so quickly and so easily. So why not? And my final extra parting tip is to really celebrate your personal style. This is the perfect opportunity to make something that's just for you. When I finished my laundry room, I have to be honest, my husband does not do laundry. And sometimes I worry when he thinks he's gonna do me a favor and goes in there and does a load. I'm like, oh, what did he put in the dryer that shouldn't have gone in there? What color is everything going to be? He, he should know better by this age, but you know, we, we divvied things up when we first got married and some things he does and I don't do. Washing dishes is one of the things that he knows he has to do and I run the laundry. So this is my space and um, not the, like the website or anything, but like actual, <laughs> my actual space. Um, and I think that it's a celebration of you. It's a celebration of your personal style. It's a celebration of things that you love, which is why I just made it my own. I'm, I put florals in there and if I thought that he was gonna be in there, I might not, I mean, I might anyways, but I didn't put florals in our bedroom for a reason because I feel like I'm trying to blend our styles and I want him to feel comfortable in that space. So for me, it's like, okay, this is all mine and I get to make it me. And I think that that is a takeaway that I hope that more than anything that you will, that you will really try to create for yourself because I think that makes your home, all of it, all of it really feel like you. It'll make that space feel special and I don't know, like a little bit of a luxury rather than a chore. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I hope if you haven't already that you'll hit subscribe and also visit us at Instagram. We have two accounts. We have Valentina Fussell and the House of Valentina. And we also have a group that you can join on Facebook. It's called Inspired by V. And you can see other people's projects that they've created 
or even post your own. And it's really fun because everybody gets to chat with each other and meet each other um, in, a, in an environment that's easier for us to be able to get to know each other. So I hope that you'll go over Inspired by V on Facebook, check it out and join the group and um, yeah, pick up the conversation there. That's the thing is we love being able to see you guys here on YouTube and um, we just didn't want to be limited to when the videos go live to be able to be with you. So those other mediums just help us to be in a bigger conversation with you and we just we're so honored to be a part of your homes and a part of your lives and we're very appreciative. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Maybe you found a hack or two that you can't wait to go and try out in your own laundry room. I think that's about it for today and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. I use wicker baskets for my laundry. I use whisk, I use, <laughs> I use wicker baskets as my